Well, good morning. Um, I haven't done a video in a while, so this is a nice change. This is video, intermediate video number six, and we're going to be going over the dance Amanda Jewel. And this was written, the choreography is by Chip Summy, and he says, this is a good time clog dance, nothing fancy. So the only thing that's on here that's a little bit, uh, a little bit out of the ordinary is the uh, cowtail, or that's what most of you think of this step. It's also called a windmill, a windmill. And so, let's get started. The um, very first step is called a country basic. So let's go over that. It's double up, double step, rock, step, kick, chug. And you're going to do it twice, once starting on the left, once starting on the right. So on the right, double up, double step, rock, step, kick, chug. Now there's no pause in between and it goes pretty quickly. Double up, double step, rock, step, kick, chug. Double up, double step, rock, step, kick, chug. Okay? Now you notice that when I'm doing the double up, double step and even the kick, it, it, I'm taking very little steps. This uh, teach is going to be at 85% and it can be a very fast song so you've got to get your ankles loose and your double toes uh, precise as we increase the speed. Today we'll keep it at 85. So country basic left and right, double up, double step, rock, step, kick, chug, double up, double step, rock, step, kick, chug. Alright, the next Step is called a double lick. It's double up, double up, and a basic. <clears throat> so it goes like this. Weights on your right leg. Double up, double up, and a basic. Once more, on your left. Double up, double up, and a basic. Once more, double up, double up, and a basic. And it's important, those double ups, there's two sounds each time, like that. So make sure you get those sounds. Um, this is all about clicky sounds. Um, Ricky Skaggs is playing the mandolin on this, uh, this cut, and it's got a lot of, of history. Oh, it was done on Rounder Label, which is a really famous label. Um, in the bluegrass world. So, anyway, so once you do the two country basics, the double lick, then you do a triple. And the very first time you do part A, the triple is in place without a turn. The next time we do part A, you turn to the back and repeat it. Um, um, you turn to the back on the triple. All right, so after you get the triple done, a rooster run and a rock double. You all know how to do that. Karate turn and a karate turn. Double step, kick, chug. Double step, kick, chug. So um, it's two kick chugs, two double step kick chugs turning on the first kick. So double step, on the first chug. Double step, kick, chug. All right? Then you do a fancy double to repeat the count, to finish up the count. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen, seven, eight. Yeah, so the first part is sixteen beats, the second part is sixteen beats. So let's go through that slowly, with starting with the country basic. Double up, double step. Double it. Double up, double up, double A triple in place. Rooster. Rock double. Karate. Into double. Rooster. Rock double. 
Karate turn. Fancy double. All right. And it's about that speed. That's about what the 85 is. So let's do that one more time to practice. Five, six, country basic, go. Double up. If somebody calls out, I, I would probably do that. Rooster Rock, you know it's a rooster run and a rock double. All right, let's try this with some music. <clears throat> we wait 16. because uh, that was awfully fast for this time of the morning. It's uh, just to let you know, it's just about 7.30. Okay, let's do that one more time, a little bit slower, not much slower, but a little. Okay, here we go. My brain said double lick, but my mouth said country basic. And what did my feet do? What my brain said. Wrong. Okay. Country basic. Double up, double step. Alright, 
One more time. Double step, and stop, and eight step. All right. That's called a stamp basic. All right. Let's do part B for the thing about this. Um, so, step, pull, step, drop, step, drop, step, two, three. Then rocking chair to the back. Drop, step, step, stop, and the basic. All right. Step, pull, step, two, rock, step, two, three. Rocking chair. Stand, stop. Let's do that one more time. It's a little tricky. Five, six, step, pull. Step, pull, two rocks, two pulls. Rocking chair. Stand, stop. Step, pull, two rocks, two pulls. Rocking chair. Stand, stop.
And on the first part, when you get to the triple, you turn to the back. All right. Then we only have one more thing after that, and the dance is complete. So let's add those two part A's in there, give you practice on A and B. Turn on the basic. Alright? 
And then you're going to do a hard step with a quarter turn on the double back. Double back, brush up, and raise it. So let's practice that part. Slur basic, quarter turn, double step, slur step, and raise it. And a hard step. Alright, one more time. Double step, slur step, quarter turn on the basic, quarter turn on the hard step, and you turn on the double back. Double step, first step, turn, and turn on the hard step. So you're facing the back. Then you do the windmill, slur basic, and hard step to get back to the front. And then, for the rest of this, you do pop holes with a right chug. So double out and chug. Um, and you're going to do a rocking chair quarter turn. Do pop hole chug, rocking chair, pop hole, rocking chair. fits the music. For my brain it doesn't seem to fit, but maybe it does. Okay, let's see if we can get through part C and the last part A. The ending is two country basics. Okay, let's see if we can do this whole dance.
after you come back from the windmill, that was wrong. You do do a turn to the back and then repeat the country basics, double licks, and the triple to the front. If you notice, as soon as I heard the music, I said, oh, that's a country basic. Okay. So, that is the whole dance. And you can uh, practice it at this speed, or if you um, look when you've got it on YouTube, in the upper right-hand corner, you click on the three dots. There's three dots up there, right hand corner. And it you can, it says something like regular speed. Touch that and it gives you options. You can slow it down 75% or 50%. So you can make it even slower than it is right now. Right now we're at 82% of that. So that's the end of this lesson, and um, it is lesson number six, Amanda Jewell. Thanks for watching, and keep clogging. Thank you. Bye now.